All right, today we have the Witten Men's Wide Minimalist Barefoot Sneakers with zero drop sole. Zero drop just means that the toes and the heel have the same lift, so there's not like a lifted heel. That's all it's talking about. And what I love about these, these barefoot shoes, is that the shape of the, the toe box is more of a natural shape. Now, obviously, I have a wide foot. Not obviously, I guess, if you don't know me, but I have a wide foot, so this wide box on the toe box and the fact the big toe goes straight instead of, you know, a lot of shows, a lot of shoes sort of taper the toe on both ends, and so it sort of squishes your toes like this inside the shoe, but this is a more natural shape. So I like these types of shoes, and this is my first pair of the Witten of this particular style. They feel really nice. They feel comfortable. There's a nice uh, pad here in the back on your heel, which is nice. Oh, they do have little air packaging on the inside so they don't get squished in the mail, so that's nice. I'm gonna try these on and uh, give you a review of what I think. I do have another pair called Jumras that have this same type of sole, so that's been fine for me. And this will be more of sort of like a work casual type of shoe. If you don't have wide feet, then these shoes might not make, these types of shoes might not make that big of a difference. But if you're somebody that has a wide foot, then these types of shoes that have these wide toe boxes, they really do make a difference. See, if you compare the shape of my foot to the shape of the shoe, it fits quite nicely. <laughs> and then these insoles, a lot of times you can just pull these out. And this one, same thing here. Um, if you wanted to have sort of more contact with the ground and then we'll tie these guys up and take a look. So one thing I noticed right away actually is that I do feel this part right here, like this seam sort of on my big toe, the, the sort of the knuckle of my big toe is kind of here. So it just depends again on how your foot fits. If your knuckles a little bit forward, you've got shorter toes or maybe a little bit further back. But for me, I feel this, not that that's a bad thing, but I feel this across my big toe. And I'll, let me show you my Jumras um, that I have. Let me get those real quick. See these Jumras, the, the, the way that this seam comes here, see my the knuckle of my big toe is here. But in these, the Wittens, see how this goes here? And so Witten does have a shoe style that's more like this, where it, where it cuts this way instead of cutting this way. This type of shoe with the cut here doesn't put any pressure on my knuckle on my big toe. And this one does. Just showing you the difference, this is the Jumra, which I can put a link to as well. Um, this has been it. This was actually my first pair, and I loved these, so I've actually bought multiple pairs now. These have been my favorite so far, if I'm being honest. But again, I just got these, so we're going to give them a try. I got these uh, sort of, I guess they're called Teslas. It's T-S-L-A. I got these for sort of hiking. I actually really do like them, but they're very thin sold, and so you do feel a lot. So I thought maybe I should get something with a little bit more of a, of a thicker sole. I wear these without socks a lot. Um, these ones, like I said, are, are more of my casual. I'm planning on probably wearing them to work, so I'll probably wear them with socks. Now these I got, these are also Witten brand, but they're the men's cross trainer barefoot and minimalist shoes. They also have the zero drop heel and they do have a wide toe box obviously, but they have a little bit of a different sort of sole. So this sole is a lot more sort of robust, if you will, it got a lot more grip. This is, it, it's a lot thicker feels a lot thicker um, the upper is the upper is actually a lot more cushioned as well for sure than those other those teslas a lot more robust um, a sole on them for hiking and that was actually what i got them for anyway so these are also a pair of witten but these are the 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 cross trainers so i've been wearing these the most of the day now and i can tell you the issue of the this part crossing over the big toe knuckle initially putting on the shoe it did have a little pressure there but once i started walking around in them like I don't you don't notice it at all. I don't feel it at all. Definitely nice again You can see how the heel and the zero drop how the heel and the toe uh, are the same plane There's no lifted heel. It's not up you know, like that like a typical tennis shoe might be I like this part too. This is like a this is a different material. It's almost like a suede Right here and as opposed to the knit. This is a knit upper, but this is the suede right there Yeah, so I'm definitely going to continue to buy these barefoot natural foot shape type shoes I've been very pleased. If you want to join me on this uh, barefoot journey, then uh, you can pick yourself up some as well. I will link to these in the description. All right, we'll see you in the next one.